Hello everyone. My name is Eric Bell and I am the singing team manager for the English Broadside Ballad Archive. I'm here in the Ethnomusicology Lab at UCSB and today I will explain how to sing an early modern broadside ballad. As many watching this might already know, ballad poetry was often meant to be sung to a folk tune of the day. This is where the present day singer first runs into problems. Any early modern English person might have grown up hearing and learning these tunes throughout childhood. Most of these tunes, however, are no longer popularly sung, with the exception of Greensleeves. The first step, if you don't know the tune, is to memorize it. There are a couple of ways to go about this. For music readers, if you can find a notated version of the tune, you can learn it that way. For those who don't read music, you will need to find a recording of someone playing or singing that tune. Regardless of which method you decide, I recommend a lot of repetition. Here we have the top part of page 513 from the National Library of Scotland's Crawford Collection. As you can see, the music is printed and the text of the first stanza has been pretty closely underlaid to that music. I will now hum through this melody, which is called Lily Berlero, for the very first part of the refrain. And I'll do this a couple times before we start adding some words. And just for good measure, we'll do it another time. <laughs> Okay, now that we've gone through this a couple of times, we can start adding the words. Oh, brother T, dost hear the decree, Lily Berlero, Berlin, a law, that we shall have a new debity, Lily Berlero, Berlin, a law, Lara, 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 Lily Berlero, Berlin, a law. Lara, 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 Lily, Lara, Bolin, Allah. Now that we've sung the first stanza as it was correctly underlaid to the music, let's try this tune on some of the other stanzas that are not underlaid. So we'll be I'll be singing through this these first three right here on the left column. Oh, by my shore, it is a hmm, Lily Berlero, Bolin, a la, and he will cut the English trot, Lily Berlero, Bolin, a la, Lara, 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 Lily Berlero, Bolin, a la, Lara, 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 Lily Berlero, Bolin, a la, and the next one. Though by my shoulder the English do pret, Lily Berlero, Bolin, a la, the laws on their side and Christ knows what, Lily Berlero, Bolin, a la, Lara, 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 Lily Berlero, Bolin, a la, Lara, 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 Lily Berlero, Bolin, a la, and this last one we'll be singing for this video. But if dispense do come from the Pope, Lily Berlero, Bolin, Allah, will hang Magno Carto and themselves in a rope, Lily Berlero, Bolin, Allah, Lara, 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 Lily Berlero, Bolin, Allah, 
Lara, 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 Lily, Bolero, Bolena, La. To summarize what I've done so far, first I found a tune, fortunately with the first stanza underlaid more or less correctly. Before even worrying about the text, however, I hummed through the tune a couple times. After becoming more familiar with the tune, I began to fit that tune to the text. As you saw in the fourth stanza, the third line had too many syllables and it began to sound awkward. As is often the case with early modern ballads, the poetic rhythm can contain many irregularities, from too many or too few syllables to unevenly placed strong syllables. The singer's task is then to navigate through these rough spots and figure out a way to make the tune fit as smoothly as possible. This next clip shows Ebba singer Rachel Short and me recording a ballad and some of the problems we ran into. Thou had seven hundred wives at once for whom thou didst provide, for all this three hundred whores thou didst maintain beside, and those made thee forget thy God and worship stocks and stones, besides the charge they put thee to in breeding of young bones. Hadst thou not been out of thy wits, thou wouldst have... Okay, I'll let you find that out. Wits have is more natural than wits not have. Hadst thou not been out of thy wits, thou wouldst have been out of thy wits, thou wouldst not have entered, and therefore I do marvel much how you this place have entered. Okay. That way we get to save all of the, we don't have to stress any weird syllables there. Okay. Okay, ready? Hadst thou not been out of thy wits, thou wouldst not have ventured, and therefore I do marvel much how you this place have entered. I never heard quoth John is then so vile as called as this. Thou art not with thy faults, quoth she, thou hast likewise, thou hast... <laughs> you can see where the problems all are. Yeah. Thou hast likewise done amiss. Uh -huh. And you're going to have to crunch a couple syllables there. Okay. Let's see where I, I'll find where we need to stop. What are you crunching? Uh -huh. yeah. Thou like with thou fouls, go she that hath life placed on a mess. Okay. Thou hast could be thou. Thou, you could say thou likewise on a mess. That would thou's be common. Thou hast. Okay. Oh, that works. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, you thou. To conclude, singing a broadside ballad can be summarized in three steps. Number one, learn the tune if you don't already know it. Number two, start fitting the tune to that text. And number three, be prepared to deal with any irregularities or inconsistencies you might or actually most definitely will find in that text. And if I could possibly add a fourth step, have fun. Because if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong.